Waiting for my camera. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is Sparkster, which you may know of as Rocket Knight Adventure 2. It's my second take at it. The first one I dropped way too many frames and it was pretty choppy. So what's currently going on right now is Sparkster's after the Secret Swords, as they're called. And he is in his sentient robot being. This is a cutscene right here. Nothing has been explained in the game thus far. He's just kind of after the sword. And you go into battle. So, uh, this is happening. This is, if you'll notice, there's another possum driving. His name is Axel. He is uh, one of the main villains from the original game. From Rocket Knight Adventure. And this is how possums fight. They, they get into sentient beings that look a lot like each other and themselves. And they uh, throw punches. They don't really utilize their jetpacks. He's just gonna retaliate, yeah. Okay. No! <laughs> yeah, I feel like... Ugh. Such a weird introduction to the game. No, you didn't miss anything. This is just the cold open. You were actually just... <laughs> I feel like I'll have time to explain later. Oh, God, he takes a lot of hits. Try an uppercut. No, I'll block. Oh! I feel like if this is the future and it's just cockroaches and possums, this is how they would handle it. Um, like, this is if... This is like the Mad Max future of the possum apocalypse. Okay. Oh, way too long. So this clearly isn't a seven hit boss. There we go. Okay, I... Kind of a weird cutscene cold open, but this is um, one of the most unique features in a cutscene I've ever seen in an opening game. Is this is a secret sword, and you cannot complete the game with the good ending without this. So it is possible to completely skip this cutscene just by pushing start, not even getting it, not getting the good ending, not having any idea what happened. So these are the princesses, uh, Sherry and Cherry, and here's Axel. He's a uh, arch nemesis, and he steals Cherry. That's actually what's happening. And this is an explanation of the subplot, really, is that Cherry's been kidnapped. And they were riding some sort of beaked pterodactyl. Oh, jeez. So this is going to be interesting. I did not... I did not arrange my buttons in the way that I wanted at all. Yep, jump is the wrong button. Alright, it's gonna be interesting. Promise that much. So what's going on here with these lizards is the kingdom, the possum kingdom, after being restored to, uh, to sanity, Came under attack again, this time by the Gidol Empire. And these are Gidol, Gidols. And King Gidol just kind of wants the place to himself. 
And then, to make matters worse, he's dispatched uh, this Axel guy, who is also a Rocket Knight. Or a former Rocket Knight. Possum. And he steals your girlfriend. Actually, I have no idea if they're dating. I didn't ask. Hello, chat room visitor. Ooh. I want to talk about the jetpack physics so bad, but now it's not the time. I guess I can. Yeah, so I have a... You, your neutral attack is the spin right here. Uh, your jetpack juice, I guess, up top charges by itself. Which is a breakaway from the Saturn version. Not the Saturn version. The SNES version of this game. We have to hold to charge the jetpack. This one just charges automatically. When it's charged and you push any direction, you get a screw attack, which is much stronger. And when you get a certain number of blue gems, actually 10, you start this little kind of like lottery up here in the top right of my screen. And it drops goodies. Or bombs. Really depending on the difficulty that you're playing. I'm actually playing on easy. I know, I know. I usually don't like to. But the game's actually more fun on easy. They remove a couple of levels that are just sort of unnecessarily difficult. I feel like the developers kind of said, well, how can we make this game easier? Let's just take out the really hard levels. So uh, it's much quicker. It's just a, a lighter game, really. Uh, it's impossible to beat the game with a good ending. That's okay. There you go. There we go. So, there we go. Oh gosh. Apples are health. And meat is full. Ooh, there's a red one. A red go ahead and it cycles it cycles the gem, so it's gonna drop a blue one for me. You, you keep this uh this fire thing until you take damage. Oh my gosh, I'm having such a hard time. I did not switch the buttons. Yeah, I got extra life. Okay, and this is just kind of muscle memory, me remembering where secrets are. Yeah. Ding! And then, not knowing how to get out. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. So now you're on their truck. The, the lizard truck. And I think they're hiding in here somewhere. Like this guy. I think it's a dude. Yeah, I got him. fire thing back. Ah! There we go. Most of your attacks that you do in this game are based on angles. Which is super fun and super kind of unique. I really can't think of another game that implemented a jetpack and had the character use it as their main, I don't know, form of transportation really, and weapon. Apple out of the deal. So I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> there's, a, there's a one up in there, but it's just not worth it. I'll fall behind. If you fall behind, you're dead. Hi, Joe. Or maybe it's here. Nope.
Alright, so this game is weird. <laughs> Among other things. And the bosses are weird, as we've already demonstrated, um, with sentient possum beings. This is a, a possum train now. And the best way to hit this guy is with angle attacks, just like I talked about. And being pretty precise. I feel like people that would be that are good at pool would like this game. Crap. Yeah, you really can't hang out after hitting. Hey, buddy. Come here. Only able to really handle one sound at a time. There we go. I have a lap visitor. I frequently experience interference in the form of cats. Now is um, now is one of those times. Sorry, there's an animal getting comfortable. Okay. So I'm guessing they want me to go down. Yes, they do. Who are my chat room lurkers? Oh jeez. Oh, here we go. Oh gosh, um... <sighs> These guys are weird. <laughs> this game gets progressively weirder and weirder as you go. I'm having a feeling- oh god! So the way these things die is they kind of split in half and then explode. Bizarrely. There we go. When you touch a jetpack, you automatically get... Oh, hello, Dave. How are you? Automatically get a Indiana Jones boulder coming after you. <laughs> and they're pretty relentless, so keep moving. <laughs> God. Get out, get out, get out, get out! I didn't deserve to survive that. Uh, Dave, you missed it. We did a whole bunch of games that were blatant ripoffs of one another. You are welcome. I hope you like it. Go, 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 go! Okay. So you barely saw it, but I just got one of these six secret swords. They're hidden in pretty difficult places to get. Oh gosh. I have shell, like, shell shock from playing, oh, a life. Havoc and just touching lava and dying. You get more than one shot with lava here. Oh, but not spikes! Getting out of here. Sparks are again has the animation or the direction control. Which I think, as we talked about earlier, uh, was introduced in Sonic. I'm really hesitant to frag on. Sparkster and Rocket Knight Adventures for being a uh, Sonic ripoff. I don't think it is. I think there's a lot more going on in the game than just Sonic stuff. He is a mascot, an animal mascot, which everybody was doing. And he is uh, blue and beige, like everybody was doing. 
but he's got a lot more going for him, like I said. And I just died. Huh! There was no death sound or anything, I just, just sort of died. Oh, okay, so this just happened. Because this is real life. My cat just tripped over the controller. So one second, it came unplugged. Alright, don't move! Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, retro systems are not are not life proof in any capacity. <laughs> she actually just tripped over it. There we go. I I, I don't even care. I just want out. Whenever I die, I just immediately want to get back to wherever I left off, at all costs. I kind of want this to drop some meat. Or another one, that's fine too. Or fire, also helpful, I guess? No, not really. Oh yeah, I ran Aladdin earlier. Um, that was really fun! I was just kind of like, well, it's here. And I hadn't played it in so long. That was a lot of fun. Um, this is the fun thing about streaming, as if, as if you actually need an excuse to play your video games. But I feel like you kind of do need an excuse to play games that you've owned for 20 years. So, the controllers being backwards really kind of getting to me. <laughs> did, I, did I miss it? Oh god, I missed it. Well, so you're supposed to follow the platform. If you miss it, you gotta go back. Yeah, it got away. I swear these controls. Please don't kill me. Okay. Let's do this again. One more time. With half a health. There we go. Two. Go back up. So the game defaults to C being your jetpack attack. B being your jump. Very foreign. And I'm dead. I blame the cat. Oh yeah. Whoa, I thought you were dead. <laughs> Get out of the way, get out of the way. Nice. Oh, you can totally customize the controls, I just forgot to. Yeah, I do remember- oh, I wanted that! <laughs> I remember having to change it every time, because I couldn't understand why they left, uh... Why they made it different. Uh, it's Konami, so I, I wouldn't feel like... I don't know. Also, it's a new challenge. I've played this game, I feel like, at least 20 times, so... Having that split second of remembering which button does what right before you press it. Okay, and it's a boss fight, so it's gonna be interesting. I actually really like this boss because he's so creepy. He's like a snake reptile. And if you play your cards right, I mean, yeah, he's gonna hit me. You can hit him in the air. Nope, missed him. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him. Nope. There's a point where he crosses into the background. You don't know because he's in midair. And he's got this weird snatch attack, and his, uh, it looks like they just cut his arms off his body. They don't look like they're animated or broken away in any capacity. I'll try to hit him in the air again. Nope. 
Pretty easy boss. Got him! Let's see if I can... Yeah, he's gone. Okay. I don't even really know what he is. I guess he's part of the kingdom of Gidol that doesn't like you and wants the plant, the possum planet to themselves. Uh-oh. Oh no! Oh no. I, th I think it only does... Oh, it does a lot of damage, actually. There we go. I got him. So, he's creepy, because who dies like this? And this isn't the capture card having a problem. This is actually the Genesis choking on what's going on with the sound and the sprites and the creepy death. Everything coming in okay over there, folks in the chat room? This level's fun and confusing. So here's the warship that we saw in the first level. Come on. Up you go. Hmm. Okay. Oh! Okay, well, I was gonna say there's a secret sword that's tricky to find. Except it's right here. So there. Found it. <laughs> so your objective on this level is to tear down or break all of the propellers and not get smooshed by hammers. And you can't really... This is a wall. So you have to rely on the pipe transportation. There we go. Over there. There's one. Oops. <laughs> An apple out of the deal. Okay. Which button jumps? It's this one. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, this is allegedly cherry. And then it turns into somebody else and he's dead. And then bombs. The bombs gradually wear the ground away. I don't know where I'm going. It's bad. This is not good. There we go. Okay. Go away. Rhyme or reason, you sort of have to maze it out. How are we doing? No drop frames. Awesome. Anybody over here? Oh, an apple. Perfect. Go away. Dave, have you ever played Sparkster? Or are you familiar with Rocket Knight? I'd be interested to uh, talk to somebody that played this SNES version. I've only ever read reviews from SNES players that decided to try the Genesis version. I've never heard it the other way around, which would be my take on it. Because I've never played the SNES version. Nope. Well, meh. I'll race you. <laughs> I forgive you. It's okay that you haven't played it. I do want to get a hold of a copy and do it, and play it though. There is a uh, not a festival, a trade show next month called. Oh, I, I won. Uh, or not, I win. I, I got all the things. A trade show called Portland Retro. It's amazing. It's uh, the biggest collection of retro games I've ever seen under one roof. 
Um, and it's in two weeks, so I have. Do I have to leave? I think I do. I'm kind of making a, a like an Easter egg list of things that I gotta get when I go. I'm already at the boss. This boss is super creepy. Yes. Just, just the creepiest. I, I feel like everything's creepy in this game. Oh! No, no, he made me little! Oh, this is awful. You don't want this at all. Okay, so, uh, you never heard of Sparkster. Well, that's not fun. So Sparkster was, is, um, came out, I want to say 93. It was the sequel an Apple, I don't know, to Rocket Knight Adventure, which came out for Genesis. Not SNES uh, at all. And um, he was Konami's response to the 90s quick get a mascot rush. So he, yeah, he's Konami's animal. Oh, I'm dead. You know what? I'm dead because I'm talking. And I don't. My, my buttons are backwards. Rocket Knight did okay. It wasn't the best game. I would say it was on par with, like, Arrow the Acrobat. If that makes any sense. But the game did really well, critically. Um, there were these two versions, and then there was a remake in, I think, 2011 that came out for PlayStation and Xbox Live. Okay, so the way you kill this guy is by hitting the little one when it falls. There we go. Oh my gosh. I think he's a, he's a seven hitter. It's like there was a trend of bosses that take seven hits. No, 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 no! Oh no. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Sweet, I'm back. Oh, I missed him. Oh, I somehow survived that. Okay. Like, who does this? Who turns little and has like a hundred of you? I feel like that's helpful if you want to do chores or something, but. But as far as being a force to be reckoned with, not so much. I think I got him. I think, yeah, he's freaking out. Dang Goombas. Yeah. He did seem like, an, like some sort of a Goomba. But he was like a magic lizard, I guess. We fought the snake lizard, and we are, now we fought the magic lizard. And I, I guess, think there's another lizard boss, or is this level? I think it is with the running robot. Oh yeah. This makes absolutely no sense. So, what are my buttons? Not just just punching. Okay, cool. So now I am in my robot, in my Sparkster robot, and I am uh, punching things. And you want to get a good lead on these guys because it takes way too long for your wrist to come back. And you yeah, I just took damage. You want to try to hit two at a time. So one. Okay, I just got I just got four. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, damage. You don't want this. That's the weirdest sound they're making. Like, I understand character design, but I don't understand... ...the decision behind... ...for the lizards to do what they're doing. So now we're running. And you can jump. <laughs> Oh, 
this is actually what you do. I'm jumping. And I hit him. Is there going to be another one? I think so. Yes. So you jump and you kick him. Bombs. And they are electing to run backwards. <laughs> this level. This is one of my favorite levels in the game because it just absolutely makes no sense. Why, if you had a robot, would you have him run? <laughs> ah. Um, what else? So, oh, okay. Why Sparkster? So Sparkster is, I'm, I'm really aiming, oh, I got health, sweet, to stream games that were never recreated um, on Steam or, like, if you want, basically, if you want to play this game, you got to do it illegally. So... I think there's a lot of value in these old games, but the problem is there's also a lot of licensing rights, and they're hard to get a hold of. So, Konami owns Sparkster. Who would they even talk to to get this game recreated? And would there be value in it? I do see the value. I understand why they went with a, uh, a remake. And there was a DS version. Uh, a DS game starring Sparkster a few years ago as well. But I never played... Nice, nice. I just want to point out one more time that my robot has a jetpack. That's uh, not doing anything. Okay. So there's Axel back there. Tossing crap at you. And you're just going to punch it back, pretty much. Oh! Oh! Got to back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. And now he's gonna toss crap at you from the back. Move. Again, I'm playing this game on on easy mode, which I normally never ever do, but it's just such a faster game. I would have I'll I will totally run it again in uh Normal mode, so we can see the full game. I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit. Joe, get down. Joe, get off the counter. Joe, come here. Sorry, I, I scolded my cat. Are we dropping frames? No, we're not. Come here, Joe. Stay off the counter. Okay, I'm spring. Sorry, there's cat interference. <laughs> I know, buddy. It's it sucks for you, I guess. So I already did this once, but now it kind of has context. <clears throat> Come on, hit me. I, well, I asked for it. I actually really don't understand the logic of having the exact same robot fight twice in the game and one of them being mandatory in order for a uh, perfect ending. But this is also super interesting, so I can't really hate on it. I did not think I would block that. You do have this uppercut, which is way more powerful, but it's also slower. And he just blocks everything anyway. I'll try it. Yeah, I got it. Oh, 
really. Oh my gosh! I've never actually seen him do that. Gosh, relentless. Okay, here we are. If you get him far enough away, he'll fire bombs at you. And then I guess he doesn't have time to recover. There we go, got him. Weird. It's just weird. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm moving away from my camera. I'm not really, uh, not really sure what the score does for you in this game. This level's fun and weird. So I guess, yeah, we are now at, um, the Gidol's Empire. Where they have things distinctly for possums to hang from. There we go. There are two hidden swords in this level. Uh, I think I know where they are. Hey. Wait a minute, I just realized so they hide in in uh, like boxes shaped like different lizards. I don't know. I don't care. I don't want to kill you. Here we go. You dead? So, if you're bored of your old games, let me tell you, play them with the controls backwards. It definitely adds a level of challenge. Are they gonna hurt me? Yes. Yes. Can I hurt this stuff? Yeah, sure can. Ooh, I'm not doing well. Not doing well. Again, very angular attacks. Oh no. Yes? I blame you. So I am back at the beginning of the level. Awesome. Yeah, I just desperately want to get back to where I was. I don't care. Oh, whoa! That's a thing! Okay, I think I was down here. Even farther. Oh, wait. Do I want that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah! Okay, so these are now one-hit kills. With fire. Yeah, nice. Is there something over here, though? No! Nothing over there. <laughs> What's up here?
So I am going to take requests if anybody has anything they want me to run. I have a pretty good stash of retro games. Um, I hate using the word retro. Older games. From God, pretty much any console you want. Um, I'm itching to fire up the Jaguar. I borrowed it from a friend and I have the Tempest specific controller, but anything particular anybody wants to see. I really wanted those apples. Can I go back in? Oh my god. I really actually don't understand the background at all. Am I in an industrial? Oh, neat. Perfect. An industrial level? Um, is that a pulse? What is it doing? Oh my god. I hate this part. There's heads flying. Literally. Just, just dismembered heads. Really? And now it's just this tiny little dude in a suit? Oh god. Mario's missing in Hotel Mario. Why, why though? Why? Why Mario? There are so many Mario games. Hitting you? Am I am I hitting you at all? I mean, maybe like a thousand year old over. That might be kind of fun. I wonder if anybody's doing that. I'll look into that. How about that? A thousand year old door. Are these just razor blades trying to kill me? <laughs> yes. I want this apple really bad. Mario teaches typing. Oh man, I would play that. I actually really, if, if I could have my way, I would do uh, Typing of the Dead. Have I don't know if you heard of that. But it was basically, uh, it was a Dreamcast game um, based on House of the Dead same mechanics. You kind of go through, you shoot, um, except you have to type, so it'll give you a sentence. Like, oh, I got a secret sword. Sally hugged her dolphin, and you have to type it, and when you type it correctly, then your weapon will initiate and kill a zombie that's coming at you. So imagine, like, any arcade shooter you've ever played, except you have, uh, keyboards in front of you. <laughs> You're scientists with keyboards. What about Mario Paint? So, so name a game that doesn't have the word Mario in it. <laughs> oh god. What? Oh. You know, despite playing this level- I'm dead. I'm so dead. No, I'm not. Playing this level a thousand times, I still don't have it memorized. Is this how I die? No! J c cat! Oh god. I, I mean, you know what? I'm not even sorry. This is happening right now. And I'm dead. I'm dying. So you didn't miss much.
I'm certain that was on purpose. <laughs> Hey, buddy. <laughs> what about the quiet game? You wanna you wanna play that? <laughs> I know, I know, it's hard. It's hard doing what you do all the day. Yes. Hi. So I haven't had a chance to talk about his uh, idle animation, which is just his bangs kind of flailing. Is this it? Am I out? Uh, ugh. No, I'm at the beginning. Alright, third time's a charm. NES golf tournament. Uh, I don't have that one. I was about to say, uh, what system was it for, but I think I just figured it out. I would be interested in seeing an 8-bit golf game. I think actually getting an NES is on my list. Of things I want to pick up when I go to Portland Retro. My very first Nintendo system was a GameCube. And I've kind of gone up. Is it? This is exactly what I did last time. That's what I get for talking. Go straight on the first one. Down, and then up. So straight across, or if you... Okay, that's fine too. We're actually... Hold on, think. I go down, and then I go up on the next one. It's actually almost the end of the game. Okay. Actually, I'm just gonna watch it to see what it does, because I've clearly messed this up twice now. Okay, if I ride the first one up, I will have a break here. Then a break there. Okay. Let's so write the first one up. Go, 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 go! go. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. It's not fun when you die three times. Same place. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> am I at the very beginning of the level? I am. You know, why not? So close to the end of the game. Just gun through it. Don't stop and look at anything. Yeah, I definitely want to get to the to the creepy robots. Let's see, what do I have for GameCube? Uh, have you ever heard of Beautiful Joe? That's a real question.
avoid you. Just hit these guys. Okay. What about Super Mario Sunshine? So I'm noticing a trend. You're naming all Nintendo games with the word Mario in them. How about, how about something that's not Nintendo? I, I, I've, I've got a Jaguar and a Lynx. You see, you see where I'm going with this? I don't want to do this. Flying heads are creeping me out. Well... <laughs> I, uh, oh, I know you're a Nintendo fan, but what if you were a fan of other stuff, too? Just, uh, just, you know, just floating up past you. See if it grabs you. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a turkey sandwich fan. But I had soup for dinner, you know what I mean? I really need an apple or something. Hey, look at that! Too much money, Mario? <laughs> if there's actually- okay, if there's a game called Too Much- oh, I see. It's too much money to be fans of other stuff? Well, I can get behind that. At least you're not pirating. Mario's done some cool stuff. True. I'll give you that. Oh, that's where the super... That's where the little star was... Star, what's it called? Sword was. If I got one up, out of the deal. No, 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 no! Uh. Oh, I didn't go far, though. Did I? Oh, I gotta do this thing again. Oh, God, this is so creepy! Ah! <laughs> oh, yes. The amiibo money pit. I know of it. I know of it well. It was just a little dude all along. What's your favorite amiibo? And why? How about that? here. Please don't. Not again. There we go. Oh God. Bloodgate. I learned this today. This is a bloodgate. So, I'm kind of burnt out. Even though I really want to get to the end. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm not gonna lie, I have been streaming for like six hours. Where are you from, Dave? If you're gonna be putting O's and U's, U's in your favorites, and being awake until almost one o'clock <laughs> on Pacific Coast.
Burr. There we go. Get my apple. Get out of here. There we go. Okay, let's take care of this bloodgate problem. Oh, there's like possum seeking bullets. <laughs> I said, where are you from? You had a you had a U in the word favorite, which makes me think you might be British. Or Irish. Or you said eh, so now I think you might be Canadian. Thank God. Oh no, I'm still not even to the to the horrible part. It shouldn't even be that horrible. I just think I'm off my game, quite literally. Go, got the first one. Go come down. Totally the way to go. Zed! Ah, you're Canadian. I go down, and then I go across. Okay. Going up. Wait, no, I don't trust it. No, I do. Let's go. This is how I died. This is how I died every time. I don't want to do this. I just want to get to the weird robots. I don't want to do that either. BC. Oh, that's that's right upstairs. Way to go. I like British Columbia. I like, uh, I like Whistler. I go to Whistler as often as I can. Don't screw this up. I like how they don't allow you to look to the right. I'm going up, I'm going up, I'm going up, I'm just gonna do it, I'm just gonna No I'm not. I'm scared. No, it's the answer. I'm going up. This is it, this is it, this is it, I got it, I got it, oh my god. God, horrible game. Am I still guessing where you are? Because I thought I thought I won with British Columbia. I don't, I don't know many parts of British Columbia. I know Vancouver, and I know Whistler. <laughs> and uh, all the towns in between. Oh, another blood gate. I think there is. Oh my god! It's all kinds of blood gates. Button check. Just do it. Just do it. Get out of the way. More. Get out of here. All right. Oh, am I at the weird robots yet? I hope so. Silver Star? That's a cool place to be called where you're from. I'm from Atlanta. <laughs> it's kind of a cool name, I guess. So here are the creepy robots that I was so excited about. I don't even... I don't even know. What they do or why or... They're not lizard looking or... And uh... They aren't very secure. Those were not hard to beat. There we go. And you can go straight through their legs. Like, it's just not even a problem. 
Nice. Uh, I think there's two more. Oh, the weird robots. Yeah, here we go. Oh, wait. Do their feet take damage? Uh, yes. <laughs> this is very easy. Oh. Silver Star. I've never even heard of it. I'm afraid my heart belongs to Whistler. Come on, drop down. Okay. I'm trying to figure out. You know, I just. I keep looking at the background, and it just kind of looks like. I'm like inside the event horizon. That's what I see. That movie you gave me horrid nightmares. <laughs> but this is what I'm seeing. I can't even pronounce what you just said. North up. Uh, oh crud. I better pay attention. Hold on. Let me let me kill this thing. Or destroy or whatever you do with robots that makes them go away. Really? Maybe I'm not hitting it. No, I am. North. Okay. Okay. Okanagan. Oh, okay, gotcha. Got now that. Okay, I have heard of that. Sort of a checkpoint. Because I'm running low on health. Crap. There we go. Broken noggin. When I first moved to the Pacific Northwest, I couldn't pronounce anything. Like the Puget sound. Pudget? Pudget? We have a lake called Lake Sammamish. Then there's Skagit. Oh, I'm finding Voss right now. Okay. What is his deal? Just do the same. Same as always. So this is where, when you're in your, oh gosh, um, when you're in your rocket boost, you're basically invincible. So you want to, as much as possible, when he's in active mode. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. And then he reveals a... Okay, and the green robot is the weirdest robot of them all. Like, this guy is just super creepy. I, I don't even know. <laughs> I, I can't even get close enough to show off the weirdness. Oh, gosh! What's he doing? Where'd he go? What's he doing? Oh, he's... I damaged him. He damaged me. Go get out of his way! Get out of the way! Get out of his way! Go... Other way. Uh-oh. I think he's gonna take way more hits than I have left in me. Crap. Oh, come on. Stay with it. Stay with it. Stay with it. I'm just not gonna hit him while he's doing whatever he's doing. Is he done?
Oh, I think I got him. Yes. Woo! That's his I you beat me animation. He gives you a secret sword. Oh my gosh, my heart is racing. Again, no idea what score does. Or how I have a life bonus, because I died so many times. So this is gonna be hard with reverse buttons. So he's he sets up walls that can kill you, but not him. Kind of gives you a bit of a time limit to hitting him. He's got way more control over his over his uh, rocket pack than I do. Oh, come on! Got him! Got him! And so his hat falls off, and he flies away. And so this is the sixth secret. Enjoy! That's the sixth secret sword. Uh, I would have turned into like a gold sparkster if I had gotten all of them, but easy version of the game doesn't allow for that. So now I'm on another planet. <laughs> Thanks for watching! Even though you're missing the final boss. This is King Geetle. The instructions weren't really clear on why he's attacking the kingdom. I think it's just kind of generic bad guy wants to wants to do bad stuff. And I found you can really only attack him when he's doing that circle thing. I'm taking all kinds of damage. But he has a really awesome attack. And I, I think I'm going to let him hit me. Yeah, because it's just the best. He opens up and... Like a portal. Okay, yeah. And we just kind of switch spots. So now he's me and I'm him. And I have to hit him. <laughs> And he gloats. Look at this. He just he gloats when he's you. <laughs> so when you when you have him, you want to suck him back into your portal. But we've like swapped faces pretty much. <laughs> oh, got me. Come on. Hit me. I hit him the first time. Oh my gosh. I don't. I don't, I don't actually know the perfect timing to get this down. Drop a meatball on him. Got it. No. Oh no, I'm gonna miss him again. And now he gloats. Nope. Got him. Okay. Okay, I took a lot of damage doing that. Jeez. This might be it. I think he's a seven hitter. Nope. I don't know if I'm gonna survive this. Shit. I'm not. Okay, so he is seven hits. But I'm not doing that again. I gotta do Axel all over again? <laughs> okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, 
Hello. I'm almost finished. You can hang out. Come ask me questions about this weird boss. Sparkster. So this is really weird. This is kind of like the pre-boss. And they made me re-fight him. But I guess I can explain this better now. So this is the last secret sword. Okay. And you turn into like a super sparkster if you have all of the secret swords. But I don't. So now I'm at the very end. This one walked right in front of the camera. Fighting like a dragon face lady? Mm. So you're trying to save the princess. And um So you're like, oh I found her. In a rave. In a rave. <laughs> At a rave. <laughs> rave master. That is this is he's actually yes, I Yeah, you should sit back and say all kinds of things. <laughs> he is the rave master! Excellent observation. This is like just one of those like down and dirty underground like uh I mean yeah, he's putting on strokes for you. He's, doing, like, <laughs> he's got laser light shows. He does. And now he's throwing meatballs. Oh. Okay. I hey, guess. you gotta feed the people. Eat, sleep, bathe. <laughs> Eat is one of them. I don't even know, how do you... Oh, you have health. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've only taken one hit. I was gonna say, if, if you don't have health, I don't even know how you would survive that. You kind of win with that one. Yeah. So this is my favorite. Although it's really hard. I've never seen this oh, in a game. Oh man, he turned off all the strings. But, do you and see what's happened? Do you see what's happening? Uh... Is your face on his face? Yes, I am him. So he's wearing your face. Yeah, I am now the DJ master. <laughs> oh, The rave oh, master. Oh, like you switch places. Yeah. Look, he's gloating. What? I don't... Uh, he's so hard to hit. Got him. How do you hit him? Oh, you just like... Oh. Yeah, you drop a meatball on him. I had four chat people. Okay. Get ready for this, because I'm actually going to get the bad ending, because like I said, I didn't get the final secret sword. You know why he's hurting you? It's because you've killed all of his brave attendees. <laughs> <laughs> I did! I killed the bouncer and took his sword. Please uh, get a camera ready, because I, I really want to take a picture of the ending. You want me to take a picture of it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, the, the rave is still going on. It is not, it is not 5 a.m. yet. You're a little too ready. Oh, well, you said you're ready. <laughs> I really wish I could, like, say some backstory about what this guy wants. He really just wants to be a bad guy. And his castle is hideous. It takes way more than seven hits. I'm annoyed with how many- There we go! Okay. Get ready for this. So he's crumbled. Okay. Here we go. Stage clear. Good job. You beat the game. Job. You got a 6,000 point life bonus. And then you fly away from his crumbling kingdom. And there's the rave going off. That's it. That's the ending. That's it. Take the picture. Quickly. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. So like... Yeah. You're just the police. That's it. That's you're just it. So you're just the police shutting down a party? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I shut down the rave. And wait, then went home. Wait, so I just walked into the end of this. What's the backstory? Like, why were you fighting him? I mean, you saw everything you needed to see. 
he was just bad. He's just bad. He's just bad. You just have to kill him. Yep. I'm sorry. I wish I had more to show, but that's well, actually the end of the game. I guess that's how some some of the stories are. Yep. Okay, so I'm cutting off because we've actually gone to attract mode, <laughs> expecting an ending, and there's not one. <laughs> um, some other time. I'll play it on normal mode. We can see the the good ending. Meow.